the Brexit vote and its aftermath, which saw an increase in reports of hate crimes, caused many Eastern Europeans living and working in the UK to question whether they wanted to remain here. They think we are invaders and we want to take something from them. No, we don't want to take, we want to give. Four months on, some have already left and others are planning to do the same. Do we see ourselves here and especially raising children? Do we want them to be raised in a country where they will be considered as somebody unwanted? We've been to meet three Polish people who are now rethinking their futures. But everybody knew the English wouldn't do the jobs we were doing. So in fact, nobody was stealing the jobs. Joanna is 59. She's lived in Poole for the last seven years. Until four months ago, she worked in a food processing plant. When I came to England the first time, I thought it's, uh, it will uh, be a big chance for me to have better life and uh, to learn new skills, to be among the nice people. <laughs> but uh, after even the short time, I was disappointed because it, it was not, it, it has nothing common to do with what I was thinking. And now, after more than seven years of being here, I said, that's enough. I don't have to be here anymore and to express myself for attacks of Brits and for being treated as a person of second category, because I am not. When I was talking with my daughter, on the street, we were standing just in the front of one of the shops and we were discussing about something what was inside the shop and we were joking and laughing and maybe we were talking loudly and there was passing one man and he said something like that. If you are in England, you have to talk in English. I said, because? He said, because you are in England. We have spices. I said, sorry, I am talking with my child, so I, I will talk with my child in my language, not in English, because it's weird. And uh, that guy, he said, no, if you are here, you, you have to speak uh, in English, otherwise you go back to your bloody country. And I said to that guy, this is also my country and I have, I have equal rights in here, like you. He said, no, that's the end. You don't have any rights in here anymore. So that was, you know, my experience after Brexit. Not only that. Joanna's daughter, Monica, moved to the UK to live with her mom five years ago after her father's death. She's got a good job in pool, and her boyfriend has recently moved in with her. Well, basically when I came in here in 2011, my main point was to connect with the family after my father's death. It makes me upset that she cannot find a job in here since last four months. But anyway, sometimes you have no choice. I don't want her to go abroad or to any other country, to any other continent even, because even we were thinking about such option like United okay. States. Thank you. Thank you. When uh, United Kingdom opened the job market in 2004, we thought it will be a good chance to improve our life. But we didn't aim to come here, to live on benefits, to have everything for free, to beg on the streets or something like that. No, we were prepared to come here, work hard and be normal members of the society. We are very easy to integrate and we are very pleased to be integrated with Brits. But it doesn't work in either way. Brits, they don't want to integrate with us because they think 
we are invaders and we want to take something from them. No, we don't want to take, we want to give. But they don't want to take it. I don't see any future for me in here, especially after what happened after Brexit. No, I have to be very careful about my future, but I'm more than sure my future is not here. Magda is 35. She's a charity worker. Brexit has got her thinking about uprooting her family. I think I was unconsciously waiting for this moment and I woke up at 6, checked my iPad and the news was that England is out of Europe. So it was quite shocking. I was very surprised because uh, all my colleagues at work were saying that they are voting for staying in. So that was quite surprising. I don't think there is any difference between Poles or Italians or Spanish people who come here. It's just a quantity. And I don't think there is, in percentage, there is more criminalists in Polish society than in uh, any other. But just the quantity made us so visible that people started to talk about us more than about other people. It's really sad and me, like as a Pole, I felt really hurt. Maybe not hurt, but sad. There are so many people in England, so many different nations and skin colours, and I've never read so many bad stories about them as about Poles. So it's impossible that we Poles are so bad and everybody else is awesome and great. And it's not true also that we are great and everybody else is bad. It's just we all are people and we can't put blame on just one nation. But it's true, I, I really believe that it's much easier to blame somebody who is European, white and Christian than anybody else, because then we avoid problems. When we heard the news about Brexit, we started to consider our future as well, and we are still thinking about it. Do we see ourselves here, and especially raising children? Do we want them to be raised in a country where they will be considered as somebody unwanted? And, for example, I have a friend, she's a teacher uh, in a primary school, and one child told her, go back to your country, nobody needs you here. I'm not sure do I want this future for my child, and of course, I live in a very safe area and I can't say anything bad about people here in, in the area where I live. But there is this thought, do we really want to stay here? From Royal Tunbridge Wells to the Polish capital, Warsaw. Pavel is 29. He moved back to Poland two months ago after working as a cleaner in Bath for two years. I'm interested in politics, but my main interest is aviation and everything related to it, both civilian and military aviation. I left Poland for the UK after my sister persuaded me to move there. It was the standard of living and the higher wages that convinced me to move. I arrived in the UK and the next day I started working in a hotel. I worked there until I returned to Poland. I also found myself another job, an afternoon job, in addition to my main job. I was so busy that I didn't have much time for any private life or hobbies. I was just so busy with my jobs that whenever I had a free moment, I was just resting. 
To znaczy Anglicy w hotelu byli, ale to tak max. There were some English people working in the hotel, but they only stayed for two weeks or a month maximum. After that, they were gone. It was enough for them. They quit. There was no chance for us to learn English, because we spoke only in Polish between each other. We learned basic English expressions to communicate with the general manager of the hotel. It was fine. The management had no problem with us speaking Polish all the time among ourselves. It is very hard to learn English if you're in a community where everybody speaks only Polish. The main reason for my return was Brexit and the fact that the general mood changed after the referendum. Until then, it was calm, there were no problems. It is hard for me to say what it is like now, because I am no longer there. In general, you could feel that Polish people were no longer welcome. There was the outcome of the referendum. People were teasing Polish workers, not accusing them, saying they took English people's jobs. But everybody knew the English wouldn't do the jobs we were doing. So in fact, nobody was stealing the jobs, but was still being blamed. That's just how it was. I've got a new job here. I will start working soon. It's an office job. I don't know if I'm missing anything from the UK. But there's something that draws me back. It's possible that I will return to the UK one day. We'll see. Never say never. Time will tell.